Hi, this is Edward Mendoza, and today I wanted to talk about what has been the best advice that I've received by many students that have done well in the OMSCS program and why it's helped me the most and can probably benefit you too. Chronos Matrix, focus on what matters most. Visually keep your goals in check and create new goals so you can stay on schedule. Watch your daily, weekly, and monthly results to stay focused. Free time optimization app. Hi, right, welcome back. And out of all the different types of advice that I've gotten from either former students, people that just couldn't make it through the program and decided to, um, to uh, withdraw early, and people that have done just all different levels of people I've seen. They always comment the same thing. And if you go to OMS um, Central, uh, you're gonna see this all the time. And it's do the homework as soon as it gets released. Even though as programmers, we tend to be kind of on the lazy side and we think we're brilliant and we're just gonna go out there and do something, you know, absolutely extraordinary in, uh, in five minutes. This is a program that's very rigorous and very time consuming. So even if you're very aware of the type of work that's necessary for that particular project or um, homework assignment that you're gonna be working on, the whole point of doing the homework early is because you're gonna have roadblocks, there's gonna be technical glitches, you're gonna have issues with the software that nobody else has because your system is set up in a different way or whatnot. And that extra time is what's going to help you get the assignment done. And I did this in my first two semesters where it's, I kept hearing the same advice, you know, you know, start on the homework as soon as it gets released because usually they release it on, a, on, a, on Monday and you'll have, depending on the class, you'll have the one or two weeks to, uh, to, uh, to work on it. But the problem with the whole I'll leave it for later mentality is that you have no idea of all the technical glitches you're going to encounter. The error codes are not going to work. You're working with auto grading systems where you're trying to submit a, an assignment and it gets you know chopped up and it's like something's not working. So then you have to post on Piazza, pray, pray to the heavens that somebody answers in time. Because also realize even though you make a post on Piazza asking for help, first, you don't even know if they're gonna, anybody's gonna respond. And second, maybe they respond once the assignment's already, you know, already due. So you're either gonna get hit with some really heavy uh, late penalties, or you're gonna get no points whatsoever for, for the class. And like I mentioned in other, uh, in other videos, if you're not doing incredibly well by that withdrawal period, you're kind of incentivized to drop if you really need the course. Right, and you can't, I mean, what would be the point of getting you know, a C or a D in a class if you're gonna have to retake it anyway, right? So the sooner you get on the homework, as simple as it sounds, like that, for me, that's been the biggest tip. That once I made that change, so since I'm working out of the businesses, I have other applications that I'm, that I'm working on. Um, usually the beginning of the week, it's like, that's where my brain is at, right? It's like, I really wanna work on my own projects. I have this idea, I wanna you know, try this. So what I just recommend is, you know, almost like put a pin in, uh, um, put a pin in the idea, right? So jot it down, write it down somewhere where it's like you can just get at it later and just put like a, you know, a calendar note on it. Um, this is what I actually use my app for, uh, why I have it set up for weekdays and weekends. And I structure it that way also because there's, there's just certain items like, um, but you know, if, if you're studying for software development that semester, but you really want to be focusing on machine learning next semester, well then focus on it on the weekends, right? Because if you really spend you know, five solid days working on, a, on, on an application, it's like then on the weekend, that, that can be our break. And uh, as bad as that sounds, <laughs> who takes a break while still working? I mean, that's just how most of us have been living th this whole time. Even though I don't have like a day job, like I, you know, I'm forced to do a certain amount. This is how I've been spending the last uh, um, couple years, where it's like I'll be doing the Georgia Tech uh, um, assignments on the weekdays and then on the weekends, that's when I you know, try and catch up. Now, if it's a class that you already have a pretty good background in, right? Like, um, um, like for example, I, like in the, uh, in the education um, technology um, course, that was a great course. I'll probably do a video just on that one because so far that's been one of my favorite um, um, courses I've taken. And that was a course where it's like what I, 
for the assignment that, that I created myself, what I wanted that course to be about, because you can kind of choose what, what, uh, what project you want to work on. I already had a year and a half of working in that particular programming language. I built, you know, I built a game. So I already had the programming language um, knowledge. Like I could already kind of do most of the things that I wanted to do in that assignment. So really I just spent, I, and I spent a lot of hours on that, on, that, on that course, but I mainly spent the time just developing. It was just more time developing, doing exactly what I wanted the project uh, um, uh, to be about towards the end. Whereas the way most people are working on these assignments, if you don't know the programming language already, that alone is going to, it's really gonna be a drain. If you're already a really solid uh, um, computer scientist and it's like you understand how the structure of, of, of code works, you understand inputs and outputs and how to just refactor um, your code, even if you don't understand that particular programming language well, you can, you know, uh, uh, um, hit the uh, hit the ground running um, in certain courses. The ones that are really hard, I would say, don't even try. If you don't have a solid background in a course, and you think you're just going to jump in there, not have a clue of of that programming language, and haven't tried those techniques before in some other language, it's I highly doubt you're going to be doing well unless you're spending the entire week on that course. But most people kind of don't have that amount of time, right? Having other jobs, um, having work, having family, it's, um, you know, our time is usually very limited. So that's why I keep mentioning the sooner you can do it. I mean, unless you work Monday through Friday, there's just no way you can do it earlier in the week, right? Because I mean, if you have like a nine to five and then you have to deal with uh, family issues in the beginning of the week and there's really nobody else to help, I mean, that's going to be difficult, but yeah, I guess you're going to have to make it work. So. I'm not saying it's impossible you know, to make it through these classes. I'm just saying it's gonna be very difficult because if you get to your projects by Friday or Saturday and it's due on Sunday, that's, that's a very small window for setting up the assignment, making sure the audio, audio grader is working, I mean, depending on the class. A lot of these uh, courses, you have systems where you have to connect with the uh, Georgia Tech servers. So those things alone will probably bring you lots of problems. Now, luckily, because of the way Piazza is set up, the, the forum where people are asking questions and, and, and getting answers, you can go and see if somebody else has already addressed that particular issue. And a lot of times you will find the solutions there, but again, that's gonna require time, right? So if you don't have the next hour or two to comb through um, other people's responses, it's like, you're gonna have to go online and see if you can figure out a solution uh, another way. So again, not that it's an impossibility, but if you're really crunched for time, um, I, I've seen uh, a lot of other students too, just having to drop just because they didn't have time to you know, get the course set up right uh, from the beginning. And that happened to me in one semester also, where it's like, I wasn't even starting off bad in that semester, but it's like, I knew I wasn't doing optimal and I was spending my time focusing on other projects, trying to get into that class and focus that class later during the week. And it didn't work, so. Again, if you already have the preparation, um, go for it. It might work great for you. For, for all the rest of us mortals, it's like we're still you know, putting stuff together and we're still very busy. Um, it's the best solution is to just work on the assignments from the very beginning of the week. Just get it out of the way. Because um, like I said, a lot of these courses, it's like, the, especially uh, I'm a course with uh, any form of auto grading, you're going to know, you're roughly already going to have a very strong idea of what, what you're going to get on a, as far as a grade on that, on that particular assignment. So why not just spend the time getting it out? You already know you did well in that, uh, in that particular assignment, and then you can focus on, on, on something else. Because as the semester progresses, it's just going to get harder and harder. So if you're lagging and having uh, um, a real struggle from the beginning, um, and thinking, well, I can put it off for later and then later on I can, you know, do great one of the assignments. It's like, it's, you don't know. I mean, it's possible, but it's like, you don't know if that's going to happen. And that's an issue I had with, uh, with, uh, goodbye knowledge uh, based AI, where I assumed it's like, well, with what I'm doing now, it's like, I can, as long as I get an, uh, a good grade on that final um, assignment, I'll, I'll be fine this semester. And no, they made it so difficult that had I had, a, you know, better grades in their initial assignments, which I could have if I just spent the right, you know, time and effort in the beginning of the course, um, I would have finished that semester, you know, with um, with um, with a good grade. So 
again, it's gonna, you're gonna have to spend time with it anyway. So it's better to send, spend the time early, get it finished as quickly as possible. So then you can focus on what you really wanna work on on the side afterwards. It's, uh, I mean, I know it sounds boring because you know, this is back to, you know, going to high school. It's like, who wants to do the homework first and then, you know, have fun doing something else. But in this particular case, you kind of have to, because some of these weeks, it's like, even though you try and do that, it's like, oh, I'll get to the stuff, uh, my own uh, my own work later on. Some weeks you're not even going to be able to. You're gonna have so many technical difficulties and it's not perfect. And it's, you know, you, you're on the uh, the finishing line there that you really just have to put everything aside and finish uh, the course. Luckily, not all, cl uh, all courses are like that, but some of them are. So it's like, you're just gonna be spending all your time on it. And that's um, something else I'll be covering on a, on a different video how even though you think you can handle two courses or even though you think you might be ready, it's, uh, you know, think twice about it, you know, look at the reviews, what other people say about a certain course. Um, and because you have to be very objective of where you're at and, you know, what you're trying to accomplish in that particular semester. Otherwise, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it's like you, you are going to spend, you know, time and money. Um, and especially time is what I'm really concerned with because money-wise, I mean, OMSCS is, is going to be probably one of the cheapest um, alternatives for, um, for, for a graduate degree. But for us, it's time because time is opportunity. And the more you understand, the more of the stuff that you're kind of working on, you know what you're doing, you're going to have great ideas and you're just not going to have time to implement them. So it's better just, you know, focus the time on, on what you need to be doing as quickly as possible and, you know, get everything done as, um, fast. Right, so you can get on to other projects. All right, guys, um, let me know in the comments below what you think of this video, what other themes um, you'd like me to talk about, and I'll see you in another video.